workers out there. Listen up, watch out. The very last refuge for lighting up is actually under fire. A New York woman is being sued by her neighbors for, you guessed it, smoking. Now, not in public, but smoking right in her very own home. Neighbors complain they're breathing in the ill effects despite closed doors. Is this a good idea or a frivolous lawsuit? With us now for a fair and balanced discussion, former prosecutor Joanna Greenwald and trial attorney David Wall. Okay, you know, I would think, I'm not a smoker, but if I were going to smoke, I would think that I would be on safe grounds to do it in my own house. Right, Joanna? I completely agree. And the first thing when we want to get into it is I want to apologize for all lawyers that are out there because this kind of case gives us a bad name, gives litigation attorneys a bad name. Your home should be your castle and that's exactly what you were just asking me. I should be able to do whatever I want as long as it doesn't affect anyone directly, which it doesn't, you should be able to do what you want. David, then again, I'm in that, you know, we, we there are other people who live under that roof. It's yeah, not yeah, just yeah, them. Yeah. It's an apartment building. And you know, when I go to smoke a cigar, my <laughs> wife tells me you're right to smoke ends where my nose begins. Your wife and says I, it in your she, apartment, in, no, 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 not no, no. out. Actually, this is apartment. in my home, so what do I do? <laughs> I go outside. Now, this is very different from most apartment situations where you have noise, babies crying, you have pounding in the door, you have music playing. I mean, this is a toxic substance. People have huge problems with allergies, asthma, I mean, obviously, secondhand smoke so from what? cancer. But who cares? That's important. What do you mean, who cares? When you buy your apartment, which she was there it's before them, she was there 10 years before they public were. Nuisance. They nuisance. It's not a public nuisance. Public, wait a minute, operative word, public. And it isn't in the public. Oh, she did it, it in is. her apartment. You should be able to do whatever you want the in your own apartment. Joanna, how about this? It's not illegal. You can do whatever you want in your apartment unless it affects other people. If other people are walking in unless the corridor, excuse me one second, illegal. and they can smell what you're doing and that is potentially harmful to them, I mean, isn't there some merit in that? You, you know, you, you can't just keep saying, what are you going to do about something in the hallway? Which, by the way, she put aeration systems, she blocked vents, and you should be able to do whatever you want in your home. And by the way, the hallway, according to the article that I read, is a huge hallway. And when they bought what that What does that mean? You can smell smoke no, in a big a, room. Wait a minute. I've got a friend, I've got a friend who lives in Portland. They just banned smoking from the entire apartment building because allergies, because of cancer, because of uh, all the problems that go along Except with second-hand smoke. Except it's not banned in this building. It's not banned in this building. Here's the problem here. While the person filing a lawsuit has the duty to mitigate their damages, which means they wait also duty, have to go wait to... Wait a duty oh, is oh, actually oh, a good word. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. They have duty to mitigate their damages. It means they have to get some sort of an air filter themselves. But you know, sir, there's something so wrong with this type of smoke wafting into the hallway. Kids, and this plaintiff has kids, they get subjected to asthma. I've got two kids with serious asthma problems. I can tell you that's a huge problem. What's, okay, the, what's the solution? Do you, Joanne, what about go that? Outside you got smoke. kids who can smell the smoke in the apartment building. I mean, isn't that a a legitimate grievance? No, it's not because there's no duty. It's a negligence case that they filed. A negligence case, when you file one, it means that some duty arises between, let's say, you and me. And in this case, there is no duty. She has no duty to them. And when they bought that apartment, by the way, and they're going to say, let's say it did smell in the hallway. Maybe she was on vacation. What if her little... They assume the risk. What and now if... they're, wait a minute, now they're filing this five years later. Oh. This woman did everything she could to mitigate whatever issue there is. So now, wait, nothing smells outside of her apartment. Yeah. She never did. There has to be some limit, because guess what? They step outside their door. Where are they? They're in New York City. Well, nothing uh, smells. Uh, There's no problems. <laughs> very good. Nothing's wrong here. Wait a minute. Very I good think point. I'm going to sanitize the air of New York City. Well, Thank you, you know, very much. She, Joanna did point out earlier that this woman did try to make accommodations. She yeah, tried to plug did. in the holes. She tried she to uh, better ventilate her apartment. But this is no different. If she has dogs going out in the hallway and going to the bathroom a in the dog? hallway. Where, what's the difference? By there? accident. What you're doing is you're creating <laughs> By accident. A, chihuahua. a public nuisance. <laughs> and a public nuisance are actionable legal cases, and I'll tell you what, Chihuahua is a public days, nuisance, I'll give you that. <laughs> Frank, I like a good cigar as much as anyone, but you know what, if somebody next to me is offended by it, or is sickened by it, then I'm going to... Do you I'm smoke the first in your house one. if your wife wasn't there? No, 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 of course not. I don't. That's you don't what I'm saying. He smokes when I he walks outside. the Chihuahua at night. That's yes. right, and I like that. To but me, that's that your choice so much to sense. do it, but you, you have can a right do it in your home if you want to. ends where the nose begins, and I think that's sound legal argument. Wait, the right I think ends I, where the nose begins? Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, he's quoting the Supreme Court right now. That's I think great. I heard that. That is. That's that great. Is it ends where my nose begins in my apartment? Now, hold I on a second. So. No, it's if, not if your it's, apartment. It's, the hallway is, is a my... common area. Oh, come on. Owned by all. And that that's... means that everyone that goes through there has a right not to be subjected to 
poison. But it's, you know what, they knew about this, they lived there for five years, and magically all of a sudden they smell something, yeah, and, now they're so you're okay, to David, and now they're sensitive. And now they're We'll talk about it in the commercial break. Yeah, David, yeah. David Wall, Joanna Greenwall, thank you both. Thank you very hey. much. All this talk about smoking is uh, having me craving a cigarette for the first time in many years, <laughs> yeah, 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 but right. I won't do it.